Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to another episode of Shovel Knight! So, we recently defeated Plague Knight in the Explodatorium, and now we're here to investigate the Armor Outpost and potentially move on to one of the other knights. Either Mole Knight over here in the Lost City, or Treasure Knight down there in the Iron Whale. For now though, the Armor Outpost is our next task. Let's go see what lies in wait for us in here. Alright, Wallace. Our scouts saw your approach and we know of your quest. This is the Armor Outpost. The brave are holed up here, deep in enemy territory. It's dangerous. Get equipped. Probably hop up to here from there, but... I want to get that music note. Fisherman. We languish like lovers while Treasure Knight sails under the waves in his dread iron whale. His treachery scares all the fish in the sea. Do us a favor and thrash him for me. Yar. I wonder if he will thank us if we do. This bag of oats weighs a ton! You say. If you cross paths on the road, you must battle. Those are the rules. Are they? Grumpy Frog. I'm so grumpy. I'm just not in a good mood. I wish someone could cheer me up. Well, okay, you'll give it a shot. Uh, have you heard the gastronomer is starting to cook with bullion? I tried some, but my soup was gold. What a terrible pun. What do you have to say? I told the gastronomer he's outside my delivery area, but did he listen? No. How do you get up there, I wonder? Merry Sweets. Oh, that King Knight. He's so regal. Such a defined fashion sense. But honestly, I'd rather be your queen. What else does she say? Propeller Knight. Now there's a guy who knows how to treat his fans. Ugh. But you're the one who really blows me away, Shovel Knight. Oh boy. Alright, let's see what's up this ladder, because it sounds like an interesting place. What's up here? Ooh. Some blacksmiths? What's over here? Got the horn? Horns. The finest instruments. But they only really come to life in a duet. I'll play a horn with you someday, if I ever find one. The airship enthusiast. I do say, sir! Why, I haven't seen this decadent airship since I sold mine! Ha! I'm sure you haven't. Invisible walls? Okay, what's down here? Woo! Oh, this is how you get that music note. Fantastic. Well, let's grab that, then. And let's see what's in this place on the left. The hat shop, perhaps? What's in here? Ah, hats! My greatest passion! Nothing I enjoy more than the crisp snap of well-tailored brim. Nothing else to say. All right, then. What about you? Peacock gent. With my vast riches, I could buy this whole store. But I forgot my wallet. Oh, upstanding knight. You could part with a paltry 1,000 gold, no? Eh, uh, okay. Why not? Wow! Thanks! <laughs> I can't believe that worked. <sighs> You jerk. Alright, what about you? I buy only the best, and for my latest purchase, unfortunately, I'm only 1,000 gold short. Alright, I'll pay for you too. Excelsior! Now that I have my purchase, I shall take my leave. What about you, lady? Oh, such a charming brooch. If only I had the means to afford it. All I need is a mere 1,000 gold. Okay, okay, here you go. Hooray! This is just what I needed. Thank you, hero. Yeah, sure. Ah! Oh, my precious hats! That's a lovely helmet! So lovely! So lovely! I must inquire, sir, about your curious collection. Travel the land far and wide I do. Searching, learning, teaching, collecting. All shapes, all sizes. Hats! Each one I wear grants me a new power. And your hat looks powerful indeed. Intriguing, but I am rather attached to my helmet. Yes, yes, about that. <laughs> to battle! Uh-oh. He's got a... Like a... German spiked helmet on? Ooh. No you don't, hat man. Ooh. Still bouncing. Ow. Okay, that hurts. But we're looking good other than that. More hat bounces. He's already down to pretty low health. Let's throw some K 
chaos spheres around here. Oh, okay, don't like that hat. That one hurts. This one's much better. Ow. Nice try. You're done. Hat man, you're no match for me. 5,000 gold. That's a 2,000 gold profit, I guess. Enough! I know not what came over me. My hunger for hats took control. Your beautiful hat. It's a helmet. Righto. I knew that. Wear it in good health. For now. Hmm. Hmm. Right. Well, off I go then. <laughs> what a weird guy. Alright. Well, we got some money back from him, so it's not the end of the world. We need a 2,000 gold profit on that fight. What are you doing up there? I guess this is why you can get magic back from the sign, because you use it fighting him, but what are you what are you doing up there? Let's see if we can get over to him. I'm curious now. Let's head up this way and see what's over there. Can we get to him if we drop down here and jump to the side? Probably not. Let's see. Oh, oh we can. Oh bother, you found me. I'm so embarrassed. I promise I'll pester you no longer. Here's some gold for all the trouble. There's a thousand gold, and off he hops. I wonder if he's hidden somewhere else in town now. I wonder, is he up here now or something? I don't know. That's a three thousand gold profit though now, that's pretty good. Oh, there you are again, hello. You! You can't be serious! How did you find me again? You're following me everywhere! Okay, okay, I won't come back. Just take some more of my gold and leave me to my hats. There's a thousand more gold. Say none of that. Where is he now? <laughs> Somewhere else? Still in town? Is he back in his shop now? Wouldn't surprise me if he is. Let's see. You in here again? Oh, you're back. I thought I saw some commotion here from outside. What happened? I just love coming to this fancy store. It makes me feel so fancy. Even with a new brooch, my life feels incomplete. Maybe I need a new dress to go with it. Oh, you silly people. I wonder if that guy's somewhere else around here, though. It'd be cool if you could get more loot from him. I get the feeling that if he is around here, though, we'll have to come back and find him later or something. Alright, well, before we go, let's go power ourselves up a little bit. We have enough money, we should be able to afford some upgrades from these guys. The armor. The speedy aerial anvil. Need an armor upgrade? If you need something forged, I'm your filler. Ha <laughs> Well, he offers a whole bunch of armors. Original armor, we have Final Guard, drop half as much gold when you fall in battle. Conjurer's Coat means we loot, take more damage but deal more magic. Harvest, or rather, have more magic and also throw more magic. Dynamo Mail, perform two consecutive shovel drops to unleash a powerful charge slash. A Mail of Momentum, heavily plated. Keep your footing when struck by enemies, but stopping may be a problem or the ornate plate. Flashy, acrobatic, and useless. Despite the fact that it doesn't look very cool, the Dynamo Mail is my favorite armor, so we're gonna use that one. Twing, twing, twing! It's very gray, but it does have a pretty sweet power-up. And we jump to the Shovel Smith. Hmm. That's a nice shovel blade you have there, lad. But I can improve it. Unlock its true abilities. We get Charge Handle, we can get Trench Blade, or we can get Drop Spark. We can only afford Trench Blade, but we'll buy that. Dig up a whole pile in one mighty motion. That'll speed up our digging. Thank you, good sir. Now those dirt piles will be no match for us. Alright, well that was a pretty good haul from there. Oh, hello. Now we have another minion to go duel. Alright, let's go fight this guy then. See what he has to say for himself. I can't believe this! Trouble, friend? Have you lost your way? Bought the best gear! The slickest armor! The strongest rope! Er... Pardon, are you in need of help? Those stuck-up Order of No Quarter Clowns have no idea what they're missing! Hey, you look like a knight! Shovel Knight at your service, but I'm not in league with... So I heard that if you beat a knight, you get to take their title, right? Please, don't do something you'll regret. I don't want to. The Great Baz Knight! I like the sound of that! They'll have no choice but to accept me now! 
Come on, let's do this. All right, the battle it is. Bring it on, Baz. Now we can do that. We can charge up Super Slashes. If we bounce twice off somebody, which means we can do extra damage, because the Super Slash, I believe, actually does a full heart of damage, which is pretty cool. So even though he's protected, we can still deal damage really fast to him with this. Oh, here's the lightning attacks, that's fine. He doesn't stand much of a chance. Got one heart left. We still have about half health, and there we go, perfect. Nice try there, Baz. 2,000 gold earned, fantastic. Sweet. No way, not even my best moves could phase you. Well fought. If you can accept defeat like a true knight, he'll always have your dignity. Now they'll never let me into the order. Never, ever, ever. <laughs> well, nice try. Let's beat some money out of him. Beat his tears out of him. And then collect them for money. Nice try, Baz. You did your best. <laughs> All right. I wonder if that uh, we have some we have some music, so we should go and return that to the city. But it makes me wonder: is the uh, the hat guy going to be lying around somewhere in here as well? Oh, we have a music sheet. Please accept 500 gold as a reward. Sure. You have found courage under fire. Such a surly lot, those blacksmiths. All doom and gloom. At least they pay decently. All right. Well, is he lying around in town here somewhere? I'd be surprised if he is, but it'd be interesting to see if the hat guy is in here. I definitely don't see him. Is he hiding in here? Nope, he's probably not hiding anywhere, but I'm going to take a quick look around and see. I wonder if Chester has anything new for us. Nope, nothing new. Okay, well, let's head back. Let's get a pun first. The bod performs on the street because when he's inside, he can't conduct himself. <sighs> Have I told you about the broken sword? Eh, never mind. It's pointless. He's so proud of himself. All right, let's get out of here. I'm sure there's more adventures to engage in as we travel onwards. Uh, I wonder if this guy's impressed by our new super digging speed. Oh, no, not you. You. Are you really the Shovel Knight? Prove it by digging up this dirt. Bam! No way! That was unbelievable! The whole pile with one stroke! How is that even possible? You truly are a legend of digging, Shovel Knight! My hero, the Blue Burrower! <laughs> well, he's impressed. Alright, looks like that's all of the encounters we can have on that, uh... Hat man for now, so I have to make do. We have full chalices? I can't tell. Let's drop in the trouble pond and see. We do have full chalices. We haven't needed to use them in a while. Beyond the first boss, they're not quite as important. We can come over here to the Hall of Champions, but I don't think we actually have enough money to go in. Which is too bad, because this would be about the perfect play time to do it. This is the Hall of Champions, a living monument to the founders of this great land. Admission for one? That'll be 5,000 gold, please. Oh, I'm sorry. You can't afford admission. Perhaps you could start a fundraising campaign? <laughs> this is the Kickstarter backer area, so if we get in there, we can see all the Kickstarter backer faces. Um, but we don't have enough money, so we can't go in there yet. And I could try and go to this Knuckler's Quarry area, but we don't actually have the ability to do this. Without a specific item, we can't really get in here. Oh, there's no way to punch through. I wish I could just dash through all this dirt. Like, we can destroy these, and there's not a lot in them. But we can't actually get into the area without being able to do more than that. So, this doesn't really help us any. We might as well just get out of here. So, back we go then. We're missing an ability. Lose all progress and spoils from this stage for leaving it early. So, Mole Knight. Or do we go to Treasure Knight? Let's try Mole Knight. The Lost City, Lair of Mole Knight. This might be a really long episode, but we'll see how it goes. I don't think we can climb up this, eh? No. Can't go over that way either. These fire guys are a bit nasty because you can't jump on top of them. But there's more secrets to be had over this way. 
bit of a nasty area because it's very easy to dig yourself into a pit here, but we should be okay. Jump across to here. See what lies within. Fantastic. Whoop. There we go. And we'll grab ourselves our fishing rod. Yeah, this is probably... Oh, no, that's not good. This is probably going to be a longer episode this time. Don't be a troupel. It's a troupel. You jerk. Stinking troubles. All right. That's the trouble with tribbles. We made it across to here, no problem, though, so that's important. All right. Grab some more loots. Gotta be careful not to destroy the ground level, otherwise we're gonna have a hard time... Ooh, careful. We're gonna have a hard time getting out of here alive. There we go. Let's get out. Before anything else bad goes wrong. Fantastic. So, now we can fight our way up past these fire slimes. I don't think there's anything else hidden away in here. Doesn't look like it. We'll just have to break all these and move on. Alright, we got dripping lava here, and I believe the dripping lava turns these slimes into fire slimes, which we're gonna have to watch out for. There we go, your shield is no match for my super slash. Come on now. This one isn't dripping, so maybe it doesn't drip? Down we go, either way. Anything in here? Just an apple. And more loot. I'll take it. Can I actually get back up there to get that loot? Not really. Oops. Get back here, you. I need to destroy you. I'll take the, the, the treasure we can get, though. And won't bemoan the loss of the treasure we can't get. There we go. I don't think there's anything hidden in this wall, but let's take a quick look. Nope, doesn't look like it. Break the cement blocks and drop on down. Hello. This jelly beetle. Oh, 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 don't fall off now. Looks friendly enough, though. Fantastic. Break our way through here. And rejoin the jelly beetle. Oops. That was not what I meant to do at all. Up we go. Okay, we made it to the top. We can grab ourselves some more treasure this way, undoubtedly. Oops. All right, there we go. Got some more magic power and another treasure chest, which we find a bit more money in. Fantastic. All right, we might miss one of the items in one of these levels at some point, but we can always buy them back from Chester if we don't find them. So we gotta be a little bit careful here. There is food in here, which I'm gonna grab early, which I probably shouldn't do. I'm gonna do it anyway. Smack him about a bit. There we go, he's no match for us. Doesn't drop much health, but that's okay. There might have been something up there we can't reach anymore, but I'm not too worried about it. Let's keep going. Plenty more adventure where this came from. Those big guys are pretty cool looking, but not all that dangerous. Moles? The moles. I don't know what those things are supposed to be, either. Those little fire tail guys are pretty weird looking. I really have to admit, I have no idea what they are. Alright, across! Whoa, 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 whoa! Crazy lag all of a sudden there, not sure what caused that. I don't like it, though. Alright, Red Knights now. Thankfully, we have our Shield Bash. Or rather, our, uh, our Bouncing Power-Up ability now, which makes this much easier. Ah, oh, I just missed you. Come back. There we go. Problem solved. Next... Boink. More loots. This looks explosive. Tis, in fact, explosive. That's good to know. Oop. Oop. Let's not break this one yet, because it looks like we can clearly go over top. There we go. I wonder what lies over here. Oh, good. Jumping across these things. What could possibly go wrong? All right. This looks like a chain of them, isn't it? Yep. All right, we made it across safely, though. There's some more loot, maybe a music note? Yes, indeed, fantastic. And we grab some more stuff. Let's get out of here. Oh, this makes me seriously unsettled doing this jumping. Two, three, four. We made it. Okay, good. Now all we have to do is not die on the next jump. Oop. 
and we should be more or less home free. Fantastic. Okay, that was a bit scary, but we made it out un unscathed. Get out of here, you jerk. All right, we got some more food. Are you going to come back and let us fight you or no? Oh, I guess not. Take your money, though. Okay, down we go. This looks dangerous. So if we hop over here, start the fuse running, we can grab all those loots and then get out of here. Okay. Could have been much worse, I gotta say. Now we're gonna have to break this one. Without breaking the one below us. All right, I don't think there's any other secrets around here, it doesn't look like it anyway. Let's not fall in the lava now, thank you. Perfect. That looks like a secret, though. We should probably save first, since there's a checkpoint right here, but then we can go back and see what's through that hole in the wall. Oh. Ah, it's Chester. Hey there, Chester, what are you trying to sell us this time? In the village road in the field, I have all the deals. You're not going to believe what I just found in this chest. Want to see? $3,000 for the Dust Knuckles. Done and done. All right. Dust Knuckles are cool because you can do this with them. Dash, 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 dash. Aw, oh, yeah. Grab more loot. You can stay in the sky and dash through those chains of blocks. No problem. You can also combo dash through enemies, too, which is kind of cool. Oops. Didn't mean to do that, but whatever. Grab ourselves some more loot. Perfect, what's in here? More treasure. Hard to say no to treasure, given that we just spend a bunch of money getting this thing to get more treasure. A lot of these artifacts are really, really optional, but it's fun to be able to collect them all anyway. Alright, ride this back, we can head over to the other side and see what's in that there sparkly pit. Oop. Is it a fish, or is it a truffle? My guess is truffle. Nope, it's a fish. I'll take it. So slimes make you bounce, that's good to know. Oh, I landed right in the wrong spot. Oh well, that's fine. We'll wipe these guys off the face of the earth here. You can bounce them over though, so we can use them to get over obstacles, and that's good to know as well. And they also solidify lava temporarily. Another useful fact. Okay, what's in here? More money, all right. The more money, the better. Boing. So, we kind of want to get the item down there. So I think we do this. Stand beside it launch it this way. There we go. Grab that. Thank you very much. Lob it onto the platform, maybe. That way we can potentially get that next lava field to uh, solidify for us. So that'll do it. That'll do, pig. Now, can I actually get on here without dying? Yes. Good. I would not have been super impressed if that killed me. Okay, so... Let us see if we can actually get one of these to go all the way across. I guess we could just knock it down from there, too, but let's see if we can hit it in the air. Yeah! Much more exciting that way. Alright, bop that. Ooh. Sneak up top here now. Get all the gems. That is our objective if we can. And all the way across. Yeah, another secret area, perhaps. Can we do something good in here? I sure hope so. Jump down and break that. All right. And more music. Fantastic. We're doing a pretty good job here so far, collecting all the things. Can I hit this as it falls? Who knows? How <laughs> good's my timing? Apparently not great, but that's okay. Oh, we got it. We got it. That's the important thing. It doesn't matter how many times it takes, as long as you can get it. And we made it back. Perfect. If you get careful with that lava now, we should be able to drop down below pretty safely. And we have to fight this guy in here. How about... No. I don't think I will. Goodbye, Sir Knight. Wasted a bit of money there, but honestly, wasn't worth the risk of death. You look a bit interesting there, too. Alright, let's go across this way. Ow. Grab that treasure and that chicken. 
And he's dead. Perfect. Problem is solved. On to the next. Must be getting close to the end here. Ooh, that's a big gem. Alright, let's come through here, though, and see what else we can find. Ah, another dust knuckle section. Good thing we bought the dust knuckles. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Of course, we could have done that with the phase locket as well, with no problem. We just wouldn't get quite as much money as easily. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's a lot of loot right there. All right. Back to Chaos Sphere for now. Let's break these and see what lies within. A little bit of money, nothing too exceptional right there. All right there, Stag Beetle. Let's go. A whole world of terrible adventure awaits us. These enemies are ones that actually are locked on the screen with us, so we can't get rid of them until we kill them. Which is kind of troublesome. Oh, I got stuck. I was hoping to dash down and do this. There we go. Up we go. Kill him. Fantastic. But it didn't quite work out like that. That's fine, though. Okay. We got some of the money in there. That's the important thing. Doesn't matter if we lost some of it. Let's get out of here. And we're approaching the boss fight. Fill up on health. Nothing else to grab here, I don't think. So let's get out of here. Here goes nothing. Bit of a longer episode today, but nothing too... too forced. You're out of your depths, Spelunker. Are you lost? These ruins belong to the ages, Mole Knight. They're mine now, but more importantly, is that your digging implement? <laughs> I'm astonished you made it ten feet down with that rusty trinket. I will bury you. All right, Mole Knight, let's do this thing. Zoop! Zoop! Oh, that means you didn't jump that time. Keep trying there, Mole Knight. Oh, that didn't work at all. I'm trying to sneak past him so he can't do anything to us. Oh, there you are. Ow, oh, apparently he's immune while he's doing that. That's good to know. Probably shouldn't have wasted so much damage there. That's fine, though. He's taking way more damage than we are. And here comes a whole bunch of exploding blocks. He's hurt if they hit you against the wall, but since they explode instantly when you hit them, they're not that bad. Now he's going to do this hiding in the rocks thing again. Can you dig them up? I wonder if you can dig him up. I've never actually tried that before in this fight. Can you hurt him? Well, with, nope, you can't hit him with the Chaos Spheres while he's doing that either. Woo! That's what I've never seen before. Huh. That's a new one. Ah, miss him. He only has one health left. Dang it. Come on now. There we go. We got him. We got him. Nice try, Mole Knight. And the moles come and take him away. Fantastic. All right. 2,500 gold is our reward. We'll take it. Looks good to me. That was a close one, though. We definitely started messing up there at the end. But we got it. Fantastic. Another job well done. Another night by the fire. Fantastic. A new day dawns. Put out our fireplace. And it's time to go. Nice try, Mole Knight. So, thanks for watching, everyone. This has been Vanguard of Valor, playing through some more Shovel Knight with an extra long episode today. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you again next time. But until then, goodbye.